If you have your hymnals, and Ricky, would you come lead us? I don't. I came in a little bit later this afternoon. Had you already sung 602? Yeah, 602, no, but 606. So I have, you haven't done 602. But this word, oh brother, this phrase, oh brother, be faithful. This reminds me also of him because brother was his favorite moniker. Brother.
the, the, the COVID coercion and, uh, and, and, and conscience summit, you'll be there, right? And I said, yes. And I said, they've given us a booth there, the Adventist Pioneer booth there. And, 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 and I'm thinking, do you have any stack of, of what is patriotism? And after doing some calling around, we found 400 copies of what is patriotism. And we had a booth at this conference, and the, the last day of Raymond's life, the two of us were standing shoulder to shoulder, handing out what is patriotism to the attendees at this conference. And he came around while I'm standing at the booth, and he said, have you, have you gotten the people in the, in the, in the, who are talking here in the, in, the, in the passage? I said, no, I haven't. He said, give me a sack over there. And he took them in, and he passed it out. And the last thing that Raymond and I were doing was standing shoulder to shoulder, passing out what he was passionate about. He truly was faithful until the end. Amen. So now we have the opportunity to pick up the baton. Amen. And on, the, on behalf of Jean and Jack Sequera, they send their greetings and they send their condolences and as, um, on behalf of the Adventist Pioneer Library, who is, uh, Raymond was the first and most recorded voice for the Adventist Pioneer Library. So if you go to aplib.org, you can listen to Brother Raymond and he'll read to you a whole lot of books. His voice will just come through to you. He's recorded even the American Sentinel. You will be so blessed that you will still have the voice of Raymond Joseph shouting out the glad tidings that in Christ we have liberty in health, we have liberty in politics, at least in the way we live. And we have liberty in Christ. Amen. So do visit. Yes. It's A P L I B or G. A P L I B. A P. Adam Pioneer. L I B. Dot O R G. And you just go to that. Go look for for audio books, and it's all free, like Raymond operated. No cost to it, and his ministry is still going on. But. To the point that when he had this experience in, 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 in Wisconsin, people from around the world heard about it and they were trying to reach him and tell Brother Raymond, we love you. You've been a tremendous blessing to us. So I just want to encourage you to continue. Oh, look at that. We have copies of them right there. So, 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 Pass it out to your friends. What is liberty? I truly I, I believe that uh, you'll be blessed by the liberty that Raymond has put together. Such a blessing to be here. And I can't remember the first time I met Raymond and Kathy, but I do remember the phone call that Raymond called my husband and said, when are you going to publish your book? <laughs> and there were a lot of phone calls like that. I'd hear him pick up, praise the Lord, sister, what the Lord, what's the Lord doing for you? You know, and we would hear that so often, it was such a blessing. Those of you that know Ray know that the Lord was working in his life. In this summer at the 1888 National Conference in Eden Valley, we had an opportunity to spend the day with Raymond and Buffy, like Ron mentioned. As we parted, I said to Raymond, I said, and, and and you all, and we all have our humanity, right? And there's certain things that bleed through. And we would, would see that with Raymond. And as that weekend, I was just convinced that the Lord had done a more thorough work in his life than we had seen yet. 
And I told him before we parted, I said, Ray, you've had another conversion. And he just smiled. And that was the last time that we saw, saw, saw each other. And when we were at a small camp meeting and my husband was getting up to speak, it was almost noon. And it was the last he was asked me to ask to speak. And Dale's text came through and said, Ray is gone. And our family was all together and we were just shocked that, that he had passed. But when we heard about the weekend that he had come through, and that there he was doing what he wanted to do and sharing what he wanted to share. There's just a peace that goes with knowing that a life has been lived to the glory of God and to help the rest of us on the way. Amen. And I'm so grateful for the time, Buffy, that you spent reading to all of us. Amen. We can still be blessed by that. Amen. Um, that was a text I was going to read it. I told a friend I was coming for a memorial this week, and she said, I'm sorry, it's going to be a sad weekend for you. She doesn't understand the state of the dead yet. I've been praying for her. But that verse that says, I'd rather go into the house of mourning than the house of feasting. It does us good to think about the future and to think about the way God has worked in our lives and what he can still do through us. Amen. So we'll be praying for all of you. It's been a blessing to be here. Buffy, we love you. Amen. Greetings from our whole family. This is good. Um, I was at the memorial up in Wisconsin, in Milwaukee, and uh, one of Ray's buddies, when he was in drugs and doing things, was there, and he sang a song that he wrote, and that touched me so much, because he said, more than I love you, when you hear those words, um, I believe in you touches us even more. I think God believes in us more than we believe in ourselves. And I, I wish Don could have been here. But Don was uh, one of his drug buddies. They were both dealers back in the day in Milwaukee. And uh, Ray, he was up and down in his experience, as some of you might know. I've known Ray uh, for probably 42 years. And I first met him when I was, I was down in Texas, and I had left the Lord and left the church. And Ray would come over to where my folks lived, and he would fellowship with them on the weekends. And he didn't know about me, he just knew about my sisters and my little brother. And uh, when he found out that I was around, he, he says, what, what's he doing? Where is he? Well, he's down in Texas, and he's kind of out of the church and away from the Lord. Well, they started praying for me. And um, I felt those prayers. And those prayers brought me home. Amen. Raised prayers. Amen. And then when I showed up, Ray was like, wow. You know, it really strengthened his faith. Because he had been praying for me, and he saw an answer to prayer. And I believe that really, you know, got him going on the right, in the right direction. You know, God uses us in ways we don't realize. Yes, sir. And, um, but I've seen Ray up and down, up and down, but I'll tell you, the last few years I've seen Ray, I mean, he married Buffy, and that was the best thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> oh, we love Buffy. Um, but, you know, Ray uh, was, somebody said, laser focused on spreading the gospel. And I'm printing these books, the 1888 message, the justification by faith. And I've never seen Ray so committed. And, um, you know, Bible studies were his big thing. Amen. And he was staying with us the last two summers up there in Wisconsin. 
and we were so blessed to have him there. And we had a lot of good studies together. And I was going to a little group up in Portage, a non-Adventist group, and Ray started coming up there with me, and we got to know a bunch of the people in that study. And um, they were coming and having studies with us Amen. at our home, and that was really awesome. And then Ray passed away, and those people still want to get together. Amen. We're still going to be having studies with them Amen. when we get home. So. Ray's work isn't done. Amen. You know, he's still working. Amen. And God is blessing. And if he can use me, that's great. You know, he can use anybody. Amen. So um, I'm just thankful to be here to meet a number of you people that I've heard a lot about. I've heard a lot about Dale Martin. I've heard a lot about Ron Duffield and some of you. And um, it's just good to meet you and be here. And you know, we have a lot to look forward to and uh, I can hardly wait till the great getting up morning when we'll see Ray again Amen. and we'll see a number of people that his uh, work here on earth are going to be there because of him you know? Amen. and I want to be like Ray was, I want to be laser focused it's real easy for me to get carried away with all my jobs and work and everything um, but Ray would keep us focused on the Bible studies, you know, and we were so blessed by those. And um, so I'm just thankful to be here, and I know that we'll see Ray again. Amen. 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 I just want to say thank you all for your testimonies, for your tributes, for your memories. Uh, the word says that uh, precious in the eyes of the Lord are the deaths of his saints. Amen. And uh, um, the works follow them. The works do follow them. And, uh, um, you know, we are to press together. And uh, there's a common link which binds humanity in Jesus Christ. And... Uh, Raymond was his servant, and we are Jesus' fellow servants. And it's been a blessing to press together with you all, to hear your stories, to hear your memories, to remember Raymond. And um, I'm, I'm grateful that his words and his voice are preserved. I mean, he had a remarkable voice. Amen. Amen. Um, you know, I can hear it. I can hear it in my mind's eye. And... Uh, you know, lots of people commented on it. We'd go to the Olive Garden and we'd sit around and we'd eat breadsticks and salad and the waiter would say, or the, or the, you know, the, the server would say, boy, you should be in radio. <laughs> no. I, um, I just, I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm blessed as we come down to the end of uh, the last little bit of this earth's history. To, to have fellowshiped with all of you today, to have heard your stories. And I know that we have pressed together here and that the Lord's Spirit has been here, and I'm grateful for that. Amen. Uh, we're going to have a short recess, I believe, and then uh, the Vespers program with Ron Duffield. Is that correct? Yes? No. All right. Uh, if you would stand with me for prayer. Our kind Heavenly Father, Lord, as my friend and brother used to say, as he would quote Desire of Ages, the Lord is not just, Jesus is not just our shepherd, he is our everlasting Father. Mm -hmm. And Father, I thank you for his life and for his legacy and for the memories that we have of him, for the, for the courage and the example that he gave us. Lord, uh, the want of the world, we're told, is men, men who will not be bought and sold. And 
we're grateful for his example mm. and for his fidelity to you and for his his directness lord and his frankness and his forthcoming nature lord mm. father as we press together here and are mindful of his his legacy and his ministry i pray that each of us will have a fresh portion of your spirit to follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which were the footsteps that Raymond was intent on following in. Mm -hmm. Father, that you may inspire each of us, that you may pick up the flagging feet and the, the heads that are bad, bowed down, Lord, and to inspire us and send us your spirit so that we can minister to humanity Amen. who you love. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you all so much. Yeah. Thank you.